everybody? My name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Terraria Master Mode from the Drunk World Seed. Guys, thank you so much as always for all of your beautiful support throughout this series. I do very much appreciate it. If we can keep it up with about a thousand likes per episode as a bit of a goal, that would be absolutely beautiful. Of course, if you do want to go one further with the support though, go ahead and use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs. And there uh, yeah, today my friends is Underworld Day. Whether or not we're going to try and go for the Wall of Flesh is a different matter. But what I want to do is make an easy way of getting down there, start opening up a whole bunch of shadow chests, maybe, just maybe, get ourselves a demon conch so we can teleport down to hell, and then yeah, we will see what happens. But the first thing we're going to be doing today, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to make ourselves another obsidian skull. We are going to grab the shield here. We are going to head down uh, to here and make ourselves the obsidian shield. Hey, one of the all-time great accessories to have, isn't it, ladies and gents? Absolutely beautiful. So, what else can we do? Well, that's a good question. What we can do is make ourselves... Wait, where is it made? Oh, wait, do you know what? I think it's a demon altar, actually. You guys probably know what I'm trying to go for, judging by the items I have in my inventory right now, right? If you were thinking it's a void bag and void vault, you're absolutely freaking right. So, there we are, my friends. We've got both. Uh, I think this is actually the first time I've made the void vault. Usually, we just go for the bag, because as you can see, we could just do a little bit of this. But I figured, why not? Let's just have it. Let's just have it, my friends. We'll have ourselves the vault as well. But right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to put it right up here. And then we're going to push some platforms right above it. And then that's going to be where this campfire now resides. There we are. So now we have a stationary uh, version of the void bag as well. Oh, my goodness. We've got so many inventories worth of space now. Oh, it's fantastic. I love it very, very much. And any item that goes into the void bag automatically also goes into your void vault. So it is kind of like an ender chest from Minecraft, which is cool. All right, Buttski, we're looking for menacing or, well, warding would actually be a pretty dang good one to have. Oh, boy. It's not looking good. And that's it. Ah, we've run out of money. Ah, well. Okay, well, maybe we can get ourselves it at a different time, huh? You know what, guys? Since we've already explored a little bit on the right-hand side of the world, I figured maybe we could explore the left-hand side of the underworld, because if we dig down right here, we should actually be able to find ourselves a whole bunch more houses, right? So, maybe this is the location, guys. Maybe this is where we go ahead and place our elevator. Yeah, and uh, we will go prepared for once. Uh, do we have a mining potion? Hey, yes, we do. Okay, there we are. All right. Yay! Super speedy. Wait, do we have scarab bombs by any chance? Uh, Because that would make this thing so much easier. Like, let's put that right there. Will it do a three block wide thing? It does. And bang on as well. Wow, that's uh, actually kind of freaking cool, man. Look at this. <laughs> Easy elevator creation, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, okay, so with only 30 scarab bombs, which I think is what we started with, we're already, what, maybe 40% of the way down the world. So, you know, calculations say that maybe 75-ish scarab bombs might just about do the job. That's pretty freaking cool, actually. <laughs> Wow. Aha! So scarab bombs are created when you combine a regular bomb with a sturdy fossil. Now here's the good news. We've got 11 of those, but also we've got some more desert fossils here. So we could just go ahead and chuck these through the extractinator and hopefully grab ourselves a bunch more sturdy fossils for little scarab bombs. Yeah! What? What? We got 55 sturdy fossils now, ladies and gentlemen. Right, quickly, before I go ahead and actually create anything, uh, fossil armor. Ooh, man, if we ever do another ranger playthrough, this could be a pretty dang good thing to go for, huh? Amber staff, bone throwing knife, bone javelin, fossil pickaxe. Ah, huh. all right, all right, cool, cool. I mean, yeah, scarab bombs is what we're going for, so let's grab out some of bomberoos. There we are, and there we are. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah, so down, down, down we go, ladies and gentlemen. And since there is a significant amount of water here... We're going to actually use a gills potion. I don't think I've used a gills potion in a very, very, very long time. 
game. Wow, it's just one of those potions you just sort of forget about, right? As far as I could tell, perhaps the only reason I could think of that you would need a gills potion is if you were making like an underwater base. I mean, honestly, what else could you use it for? Why do you need to be underwater for such an amount of time to warrant a gills potion? Answer me that, huh? <laughs> hey guys, check it out. We've actually, uh, you know, we just bumped into a gem cave here. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I mean, I think I can see rubies, maybe? Yeah, there's a little bit of red going on, a little bit of blue. Yeah, a sapphire ruby gem cave. Ah, okay, so yeah, scarab bombs do indeed break the obsidian, but of course we should probably go ahead and uh, just use a little pickaxe action here. There we are. Otherwise, we'd just be wasting the scarab bombs, wouldn't we? We'd be just mining one layer at a time. And obviously, if I had my way, we'd be able to freaking just make ourselves a large obsidian chasm here. Just in one foul swoop. <laughs> oh, well. Also, ah, darn it, you son of a freaking sent me off course. And now I have an imperfect freaking chasm. Not cool, boo-boo. Well, the elevator process has certainly slowed down by the fact that we're bumping into multiple lava pockets and we keep having to go up in the world to find ourselves some water pockets to drop down on them. So, yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, that's one water pocket. Oh, snappers. All right, guys, I think we are just about there. Oh, oh there's a lava pool there. Ah, ah, ah even more lava. Okay. Well, that's not very cool, is it? Uh, what I'd really... Uh, do you know what? Let's use it. Where is it? Boom. Obsidian skin. Right. Have the lava drain down there. And then we'll be just about fine. All right. So here we are. In the underworld. The drunk seed underworld. Yeah. With the slightly weird carnival style horror music. Yes. <laughs> so what we're going to do is actually use a potion of a turn. So I can get... Crap. So what I meant to do was use the pylon network to get myself back to the ocean and then, yeah. Uh, well, I rather buggered that one up, didn't I? <laughs> so the good news, ladies and gentlemen, is we don't really need to dig up any hellstone. What I am fussed about is just exploring, trying to find myself a whole bunch of shadow chests, opening those bad boys, getting some lootsy doodles, maybe a demon conch. That'll be fan freaking fantastic. But yeah, you guys get the drill. We're going to get ourselves a bunch of loot. It's going to be a lovely time. But before we do that, we should probably empty our inventory. So that's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> so yeah, guys, you want yourself a super freaking easy, super quick elevator? Use scarab bombs. A fantastic addition to the game. I'm sure you guys would agree. So in terms of hard mode, I had some of you guys suggesting that we should do ourselves a bunch of crate fishing before heading into hard mode so we can get ourselves a bit of a head start. Uh, but for those of you guys unaware, you can't actually do that anymore. You have to get the hard mode equivalent crates in hard mode if you want to be able to get the hard mode ores out of the boxes. You cannot get the hard mode ores out of the pre-hard mode boxes, right? But yeah, it doesn't mean that we can't do any fishing as soon as hard mode comes into effect, though, right? We could have that be like the first thing we do. We do ourselves an enormous crate fishing session. Get ourselves a bunch of crates. Get ourselves a bunch of hard mode ores out of that. Maybe we don't have to break a single freaking demon or crimson altar in the series. That'll be pretty freaking cool, right? In terms of having a nice, clean world. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'll tell you what else is nice. This demon side. Ha! That was pretty pog, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Anyways, guys, let's do a little bit of exploring. And I guess I'll bring you guys back if we manage to find ourselves one of those beautiful shadow chests. I'll tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I am certainly glad that I made the Knight's Edge in the last episode because it's coming in pretty clutch, guys. In terms of pure, unadulterated damage, it is very, very, very nice. <laughs> I definitely am not going to complain about it. Not at all, in fact. All right, come on, baby. There's got to be one of these bad boys around somewhere. Huh? One of those little purple chests. Whoa. This house goes so deep in the world, we are literally at the absolute bottom of the world. I'd love to know how deep this house actually goes, like further beyond the bottom of the world. Have you guys ever wondered that? <laughs> What lies beyond? All right, and there is the edge of the world. All right, cool. Oh, obsidian rose. 
Well, that's pretty large, actually. If we somehow manage to get ourselves a lava charm at some point, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to upgrade some of our boots eventually up to Terra Spark boots. Oh, that'd be pretty freaking cool. But obviously, you can't find the lava charm in the underworld. As far as I can remember, that is, anyway. You find them at the lava level in normal cave systems, right? As far as I can remember, but I don't know. My knowledge may be old and my knowledge may be dumb, but I don't know. <laughs> So do you want to know the cool thing about the Drunk World Seed in terms of the Wall of Flesh? I mean, the entire center of the world is literally just a lava pool. We will never have to create ourselves a lava bridge or anything like that. We need only get ourselves one of those beautiful water walking potions and then we're just about there. Like, really, that's about it. We could probably take on and defeat the Wall of Flesh just within the center of the world. I don't think we're going to have any issues with taking down the Wall of Flesh, especially with our ridiculous loadout with the beauty that is the Spinal Tap and the little imp dudes that are following me, right? So, yeah. Oh, my God. It's a massive vase-breaking journey. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my god. The amount of vases you find in the underworld is actually kind of ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I love it. Like I say, you get some pretty darn cool stuff from them in the underworld. You really do. You get even better stuff from them if you do it in hard mode, though, right? As far as I can remember. Hmm. Anyways, let's continue on, shall we? We're looking for our first purple chest. Where the devil are they? I must admit, though, I'm kind of wondering whether or not that the coin portals are actually rarer inside of the underworld vases because we haven't found one yet. And I feel like I've literally broken hundreds of them at this point. So, yeah, I don't know. Hey, a Sun Fury. That's kind of cool. Oh, there we are, my friends. Number two. Cool. I wonder if there's like a spawning rule for shadow chests. Because I didn't find any at like the absolute edges of the world. But now that we're starting to head a little bit more inland. Yeah, I seem to be finding them. Demonic Hellcart. That's kind of cool. I like that. <laughs> I don't think we need quite that many bombs. Uh, oh, hey, buddy. How's it hanging? I would like to take everything else that was inside that chest, though. I did see an Inferno potion, and those bad boys, strictly speaking, can't be made into hard mode. So to have that potion in pre-hard mode is pretty large. Aha! Another Sun Fury, I see. Eh, don't really need it. The uh, increases pickup range for items. Huh. Okay, well, apparently it can be worn in vanity slot, so there we are. Very cool. One inventory space back for your boy. Go on, Terraria. Go large for us. What have we got? Hellwood bow. Hey, that's actually something we did not have. Cool. All right. Uh, you know what? Just for the hell of it. Yeah. Get exploded, hell house. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Uh, we're starting to run out of inventory space. Huh? Maybe it's time to... Son of a gun. Maybe it's time to start using the void bag a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure a lot of stuff has already gone into it. Yeah, it has. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Let's just do deposit all and say Sonic. Let's just get everything. Oh, turns out there's another shadow chest right here. Say no more. All right, we've got ourselves a flower of fire. Cool. Oh, and yet another one with another Sun Fury. <laughs> oh, we got the Moon Lord legs as well. Again. <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you guys, even if we don't manage to get ourselves the Demon Conch, I'm not actually that fussed about it. We do have ourselves a nice, easily created elevator now, so we don't really have to worry about trying to navigate our way down here too much anymore. We can just fall down, you know? Nice and easy like. And we've got an ornate shadow key. Very, very cool. Alright, once again, we're gonna need to grab ourselves out of the void bag. We'll do a little bit of quick stack, deposit all and all that kind of jazz. Alright, another treasure magnet. We've got a red potion in this one. Obviously we're not going to consume it because what kind of fool would outside of the for the worthy seed, right? <laughs> and what do we have in this one? It is another Hellwing bow, but it's actually a better one compared to the one we've already got. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, could it be possible that we've explored all of the houses? I do believe it might be. Ah. Oh wait, no, no, no. There is another one. There was just a little bit of a gap, huh? Okay. Hey! Coin portal! Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Oh, and another one? Ah, oh, is that only a five one? Yeah, it is. Kind of a shame, isn't it? All right, well, never mind. All gold is good gold. Look at this. We've got more than a platinum coin at this point. Maybe it'll be a good idea to stack up our coinage in here so we don't wind up losing it like a complete freaking nincompoop, huh? <laughs> and yeah, in the meantime, we can continue on with a little bit of this, huh? 
Oh my goodness, we've got so much stuff. It might even be time to start freaking stacking up the piggy bank. Holy mackerel. Oh, hell yeah. Just got the Cascade Yo-Yo. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? That's pretty bombing. Okay, one that's not inside a house. Oh, well, that's a little bit disappointing. All of the other chests were pretty stacked full of stuff. Ah, what the? Okay. Uh, don't worry. Just getting slightly larvered. Everything's fine. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. I do believe that we are indeed at the edge here. And I think that any minute now, we're just going to come across the lava ocean. Yeah, we've got a little bit of land. And the oh god, uh, uh, yeah, we're going home now. <laughs> I'm about to die. Psych. I got water here. Ha! Suck on that. <laughs> I think honestly, ladies and gentlemen, the thing that I find most crazy is the fact that we only managed to get one goodie bag with cat ears. Yes. Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh dear. We've got zealous, or we've got zealous. Ah, wow, what a great collection of stuff that is. Uh, Murderous is better. We'll sell the other duplicates, by the way. Uh, Flower Fire, they're both normal, so I don't think I care too much. We'll go ahead and keep one of each item. Uh, Demon Scythe as well, that's obviously pretty cool. Hellfire Arrows, always a good thing to have. The rest of the stuff here, though... Oh, wait. Wait. Uh, no. These are the duplicates. There we are. Yeah, there we go. Don't want to be selling the wrong things now, do we? That'd be a rather freaking stupid idea of mine, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we've got some decent stuff here, guys. I'm pretty dang happy with what we've managed to uh, get done today so far. But is that us done? I don't believe it is. I think we could actually do it. I genuinely think we could take on the Wall of Flesh and win. Okay? I have a good feeling about it. I really, really do. The only thing is, when I go into something confident... I usually wind up coming out the other side not feeling too good about myself. So, I don't know, man. We've got to be super careful, and we've got to make sure that we're going down with the right kind of loadout, okay? Anyway, guys, I think a more immediate problem is the fact that I don't think we've got a guide voodoo doll. Uh, yeah, it's not looking like it, is it? Well, gosh, freaking darn it. All right, we're going to have to go back to the underworld and get ourselves one of those guys. And yeah, I think from there we'll just about be good, right? So maybe we go ahead and get the bewitching effect now, right? And then we'll go. We'll get it all done, my friends. It's going to be a lovely time. I'm excited. All right, come on, voodoo demons. Where y'all at, huh? I'm going to need you right about now, ideally. That'll be fantastic. All right, guys. Well, at this point, we've just got to sort of wait around. See if a guide voodoo doll uh, dude will spawn in. I certainly hope so, because otherwise we are going to be waiting here a while. Oh, God. Don't drop it. Uh, guys. Uh, I don't know where I am. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm in the lava. Oh, my God. Look at that. The guide voodoo door actually landed on that tiny little perch. All right. Here we go. Come on. Don't do no drunk thing. Okay. It does spawn on the left-hand side. Good. -o. Right. Real quick. We're going to uh, zoom out. And we're going to get this thing on the way, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, baby. Give me some epicness. All right. Come on. Come on. If we can get rid of the hungry here, we might actually have a pretty decent stab at this. Certainly hope so. Anyway. Come on. 12, that, wait, this guy's got 14,000 health. You god. Well, the good news is, we're actually doing pretty good so far, but the damage that that guy's doing to me is kind of nasty. All right, man, you better be careful, man. Eh? Don't have ourselves a lot of, uh, oh, we're not doing too well. We're not doing too well, I've got to be honest. We're not doing too well at all. All right, maybe we, we've got to be careful of the lasers more than anything, I think. Come on. As soon as the lasers start, we jump, right? There we are. There we are, there we are. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, you're getting kind of quick now. No! He had less than 600 health. I think 600 health was the last I saw. I can't believe we just failed that. Wow. That's really bad. Darn it. Wow, that was a good attempt, though. I won't lie, that was a good attempt. I will give myself that, if nothing else. So, guys, do you know what? I think we are pretty solid to just give that another shot straight out. I really do think 
that we can have this. I really, really do. So do you know what? That's exactly what we're going to go and do. Uh, after going to sleep and skipping the night so the guide actually can spawn back in, that is. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I just realized that pygmy necklace doesn't even have a reforge on it. So we could probably change that right about now. Do you know what, though? I kind of feel like having more defense would be a good way to go. Yeah, we've got a good amount of damage going on. Like, really, we have. But I, I need some defense. I really do. Oh, man. Brain of Confusion. Lucky. Armored. Armored. I mean, uh, what about this? Two gold. Come on. There we are. That's a nice little start, isn't it? What about this? Six gold to reforge. That's already armored. What about this? Four gold. Oh, I don't know, man. I feel like I want defense. Precise armored. Yeah, okay. That'll do even still. Yeah. Yeah. Guy Voodoo Doll obtained. Now, why? Oh, why has the guy not respawned in yet? Huh? Why has he not respawned? It's taken literally the entire day so far, and there's been no sign of him. Come on, man. I'm running out of time for today's episode, dude. Really, Terraria? You've had the entire Terraria day to try and spawn in the guide, and it just hasn't. Why? Is there a reason why the guide has not spawned in? Like, do I not have enough houses? Nope, there's still a spare house up there where the guide was in the first place. Okay, checking out the other houses. Yep, that one's totally fine. This one over here. All of them are full, but it should still be fine. I, I don't understand why the guide isn't spawning back in. I'm very confused. All right, guys, I'm afraid on that disappointment, I am going to have to end the episode. I am literally totally out of time for today's episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We'll come back in the next episode at the start, hopefully, with the guide spawned in. And we'll give the Wall of Flesh another go. And hopefully, we'll start off the episode with a really good bang in that we'll defeat him. You know, it'd be good, wouldn't it? So, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, I'd very much appreciate it if you guys would drop a like if you haven't already. Do be sure to hit the subscribe button as well if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.